Marcy, the Bureau of Prison spokesman Ed Ross says that all inmates are now compliant. More than 500 of them have been transferred to other institutions, but the ultimate goal is to get nearly 2,800 out. Housing units set on fire. Inmates at the Willacy County Correctional Facility violently shaking the fence Friday afternoon. According to the institution, the uproar started because inmates claimed they were unhappy with medical services. I would have done the same thing. Valley resident Juan Cervantes says the reasons must have been major for the inmates to act this way. They can get them to the right People that can have them give them medical assistance, you know, it'd be better for them. Officials from Management and Training Corporation, which operates the tent prison, say it's now uninhabitable. Jailers already transferred more than 500 inmates from the center to other prisons. Bureau of Prison spokesperson Ed Ross says the inmates are now compliant. The contracts that MTC has is very important to the county. Former mayor of Raymondville, Joe Alexander, says keeping the jail population high is important because the county makes money off each inmate. I would be uh, very naive if I say, well, I don't know what would happen. No, I know what would happen. If we lose our prisoners, the income comes down and employees are retired or they're, you know, they're uh, taking leave, leave of absence, they might not get paid. But we need everybody to be employed. We need those prisoners. Businesses like Mi Pueblito Restaurant are worried too. I want the jail to reopen and for there to be work again so that the money can flow again for the city because we're a small town. Carlos Gomez says their more than 20 year old business needs the staff to remain working at the jail. This facility holds nearly 2,900 inmates, immigrants who aren't lawfully here in the United States. In Raymondville, Tiffany Huertas, Action 4 News.